While they were on the front lines helping people battling COVID-19 in other parts of the country, little did a couple know their three-year-old was home in Mobile fighting her own battle. Cherish Lombard tells you how two respiratory therapists discovered that their daughter had bone cancer and how they're handling things now. A Mobile couple responds to the call for COVID heroes. The respiratory therapists leave their three-year-old behind, traveling to other states to save lives. In the middle of that harrowing fight, they get a long distance call. Their child is sick. Worse yet, the phone line crackles with the one word no parent wants to hear, cancer. Sprinkles, wake up. Time to eat a cake. Cake? That's your piece. Cecilia Tran never expected to celebrate her daughter's fourth birthday in a hospital. Then, just six days before the celebration, little Scarlett Castaneras and her parents are forced to face the unthinkable. Diagnosis, osteosarcoma, and chemotherapy is not beating this cancer. Doctors explain they have to amputate Scarlett's right leg. It's more common in, uh, you know, teenagers and children who are growing rapidly, and it's called a sports tumor. Tumors like this usually present as pain and swelling. The area affected typically feels warm for days. Just months before, no symptoms for this active athletic three-year-old bouncing around her living room, swimming, just being a kid. She's, you know, loves to dance and play karate and swimming. Karate? Yeah, karate, right? How much do you like karate? Sure. <laughs> but Scarlett's ability to do the things she loved so much changed in an instant. We saw that she was limping, and uh, when we asked her about it, she said she got her foot stuck in the couch, and uh, we didn't think anything of it at first, and then about a week passed by, and it wasn't getting better, so we took her in to the pediatrician, and um, from there, it just kind of catapulted into like doctor's visits and tests and things to figure out what was going on. The symptoms started surfacing only in mid-February, but quickly progressed. Scarlett went from a walker to a wheelchair. At the time, Scarlett was staying with family members in Mobile. Her mother working as a traveling respiratory therapist helping COVID patients in Texas. Her father doing the same in Hawaii. I think it's hard because you know, with the pandemic going on for the last year or so, we haven't really been able to be all together as a family, um, just because of the risk and everything with, that comes with our job. With Scarlett's cancer diagnosis, Cecilia and her husband dropped everything and flew home, and they took Scarlett to St. Jude Children's Hospital. We packed up the car and drove up here. It was early March. We've been here since we haven't left. Doctors at USA Health treat osteosarcoma too. They describe it as pretty common, but not in children Scarlett's age. However, if it hasn't spread to the lungs or to multiple bones, the prognosis with aggressive treatment is good. Really, really good. You know, close to two thirds, a bit more, can uh, you know hope for a long-term cure. A long-term cure is exactly what Scarlett and her family are hoping for. For now. It's more chemotherapy and an indefinite stay at St. Jude. Their hope is that by Scarlett's fifth birthday, her life will be much different. Cherish Lombard, WKRG News 5. What a precious child. There's a GoFundMe set up to help Scarlett's family now that her parents are out of work and the bills aren't stopping. You can find a link on WKRG.com when you search Scarlett.